welcome to the Friday Night Paper Fight. This week with me and Cameron. Because yep. it's the all Cameron, all Kathleen, all singing, all dancing stream magic experience for these next two weeks. <laughs> you want to see magic? You're going to see me and Cam in it. Yep. You want to hear yeah. our magic podcast? It's me and Cam. I, I'm not really set up for singing and dancing. Mm. Uh, I mean, well, that might take a We'll have to make, set that up during the break. To be fair, neither are we, really. Hello I'm... and welcome to a Winston Draft. This is my song. It's a Winston Draft. Jazz hands, jazz hands, hurrah. I, I neither sing nor dance. I tried once. It was did terrible. You did you hear but, me? Yeah. I don't sing. <laughs> well done. Be bold. <gasps> yeah. So uh, before we get started, a couple pieces of housekeeping. Mm -hmm. This stream is brought to you by cardkingdom.com, a kingdom of cards. Say, LRR sent me button, please, in your order, and you will get our button, which is a, like... A thing, yeah. It's a small one-inch one inch metal button, button the, that, that you could apply to your clothing. Yeah, it, I, the most recent one uh, was uh, a flip button that yeah, said yeah, yeah. "flood" and "screw." The two states of mana. Yeah, exactly. But I think those might be out. Yeah, but we'll have something equally pithy that mm. lets other people know that you know about the fine game of Magic: The Gathering. And if you are ever in the Seattle area, please go to CardKingdom.com, a kingdom of cards, and enjoy their fabulous brick and mortar stores. Mm -hmm where you can procure food and or games. Yes, and or singles and or sealed products within the contiguous America. Yes, cardkingdom.com, <laughs> hot singles in your area. <laughs> Provided those singles are magic singles or multiples. A kingdom of cards. It, <laughs> integer multiples of magic singles. Boy. Positive integer multiples. Wow, thank you so much, Card Kingdom, for sponsoring this hot yeah, mess. Yeah, yeah, please, please don't fire us. Yeah, nobody, nobody show that to, 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 to anybody who works at Card Kingdom. They're going to be like, what are we paying these clowns for? Uh, speaking of paying these clowns, thank you to you. This stream is also <laughs> to you on the kind support of our Patreon. Mm -hmm. Patreon.com slash Loading Ready Run. More of this. <laughs> yeah, way to go, guys. This is, this is your fault. But seriously, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Patreon is so important to us. Uh, obviously, your support on Twitch is wonderful and helpful, and your support on Patreon is wonderful and helpful. And however you guys support us is great because it does things like pay the electricity bill mm. and us. Yes, and the Cameron <laughs> bill. Yes. So thank you guys so much. Mm -hmm. uh, we got it. We got to do more hot singles in your area when those singles are magic cards. <laughs> yes. Yeah, perfect. Uh, yeah, I think we have a whole new advertising campaign worked out here. Mm. Actually, someone tell Card Kingdom and tell them we're geniuses. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. So, and tonight, because there's only two of us, we are going to be doing Winston, Winston draft. draft. So, a Winston Draft is when you take, each player contributes three packs of cards, or 45 magic cards. Um, these cards are shuffled together, which we will be doing on stream. Um, and then what you do is you both draft from the same pile of cards. Uh, the first player will make, take the first card from top of the library and make one pile, second card to make a second pile, third card to make a third pile. The first player then looks at pile one and decides if they want to take that pile. If not, they put it back and put another card on top. They may then look at pile two and decide if they want to take pile two. If they do not take pile two, they put it back and put another card on top. Then they look at pile three, and because it's pile three, they have to take pile three. Mm -hmm. Then they make a new pile three. No, it, no it's, waffling. Yeah, no waffling. Oh, also, if you take pile one, your turn is over and the other person gets to... Yeah, and then you yeah. replace the pile with one single card. Yeah. Uh, but to keep things fresh and exciting, mm -hmm. I'm so fresh you can smell these packs. <laughs> it's been a long week. <laughs> it's not it's done just, yet. Oh, no. They left on Tuesday, Cameron. Yeah. We've got a whole more week of this. This is both just we Cameron and I yeah. slamming coffee. Yeah, I mean, week. yeah, we had to get a new toilet installed. The pH is so low; it's just it ate right through c ceramic. Yeah. Anywho, so what we're going to do is we're going to <laughs> shuffle these three packs of cards together. And if you saw our Thursday oh. Magic stream, yes. you saw us select these packs. Mm -hmm. But we also want to do it live now. Uh, my pack, I select. I, I selected 
Well, we wound up selecting, I, I think I took Kaladesh. Corset yeah, well, 2010 was yours. Yeah. Shadows was mine. And I think I picked you, uh, Conspiracy because I just want to watch the world burn. Yeah, and I and I picked Alara Reborn and Torment as, mm -hmm. to round it out. Now, actually, somebody in chat did remind me, if you look at the third card and you don't want it, you can take a random card off the top. Oh, really? Oh, yes. okay. Okay, you then. You can just be like, ah, none of this, random card. You get All what right. you get. Okay, then. Um, so... Uh, the Pack of Kaladesh was contributed by Garrick at GP Vancouver. Shadows Over Innistrad came from Andrew Wells at PAX East 2017. And Conspiracy Take the Crown came from Magnus Carter at PAX West. Uh, meanwhile, Robert at PAX, six, PAX East 2016 provided us this 2010 mm -hmm. core set. Uh, Roscoe, in October 2017, mailed us this pack of Alara Reborn on mail time. And this wonderful pack of torment has no label, but we are there. But we are very thankful for it. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's. Uh, okay, so we need to take the basic out and any tokens. Where's the basic in this pack? So when I was, uh, I had to scan all the cards in, so they might not be in the in pro appropriate order. Sorry about that. All right. Uh, Is the does the basic you know come out? Yeah, the basic comes out unless it's a foil basic. I mean, we can just like if we pull a basic. We can yeah, we like, can no. we can cross that. Oh well, we'll the come basics at the bottom of this one, and there's the token. Great huh. token. Thrill now as we shuffle. Yeah, down. somebody actually look through the card. No, oh, okay. Yeah, that one was just on the back. Yeah, so somebody... I don't know how we're going to handle uh, a lot of the conspiracy cards that are weird, but hey, you know what? We'll figure it you out. You know what we could do is we could just be like, chat. How do you think we handle this? Yeah, like... I mean the stakes have never been lower. So yeah. let's uh. In this right. unsanctioned random format played by two extremely tired people. <laughs> here, let me do some shuffling up here. Yeah. Then we'll trade yeah. some cards. We can pile we can shuffle our piles together. Hmm. This week's uh, Friday Night Paper Fight ASMR card shuffling stream is brought to you by cardkingdom.com, a kingdom of cards. <laughs> That's... I do kinda want like Get like LSV or some other. Get like a Magic mm. Pro with one of those, like the the microphones with the two ears on them. Mm. Like the really the fancy. Oh yeah, su yeah. Super. Uh, like uh, the sportscaster kind of. No, no, like the like the the whatever by by uh, um, by oral microphones mm. that, mm -hmm. that you see the ASMR people have. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then, and then just get them to flick cards beside Ooh. beside the ears back oh. and forth. Yeah. For that real authentic experience. I wonder if there's any money cards in this pack. Not anymore. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> ah. Okie dokie. <laughs> Don't ping me plays says if you trust in chat in 10 minutes, you're going to be rolling d20s to figure out how blocks work while rolling your D&D &D character. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> All right, so uh, let's roll for first player. Yeah. High roll? Sure. Seven. Well, that's statistically above average, Cameron. No, that's that's the median, isn't it? Where's the mean? Well, I rolled an eight. Okay, well, that's higher than seven. Kathleen is first player. Good luck. Have fun. Hmm. Yeah, one of the cards are going to be upside down for one person. Mm. How, how frustrating. Oh, no, oh. we... This is both median and mean. Well, that that fails to clear that up. <laughs> Interesting. Got the uh, drafting cams commit. here. Mm. Uh, and as you can see on the right-hand side there, we're doing a poll for who do you want to see deck building this one. So uh, the URL is there on screen. Go take and that. vote to All right. see who you want to deck oh, build. And actually, this one goes here. Oh. That one goes there. Okay. All right, so now it's my turn. Yes. I look at pile one. Hmm. Hmm. I'm just going to keep watching the chat so I can't see what Cameron's drafting. And at the end, we're going to do a little vote, and you guys can, we're going to let you guys pick to see who you want to build on camera. Uh, because we don't need to, like, have one person build on camera. These are both good cards. I'm going to pass them and see what information is available from the other packs. Pack, or, put a card on there. Oh, yes. You usually end up with an uneven number of cards. 
well, this is just problematic. Can we watch both deck builds at the same time via drafting cams? Well, then we can't talk through our picks and our cuts, though. Mm -hmm. Right? Uh, Kathleen, would you say that you sit both to my left and right? <laughs> Oh, I see. Uh, I'm going to say that in the grand interconnected scheme of things, we are all bound by the same thread of fate, Cameron. So I will say, yeah, I sit both to your left and right. All right. Uh, choose two colors. What's the context of choosing two colors? Isn't that an interesting question? Yes. Oh, reveal regicide. Ha! Huh. OK, what does it say? Uh, the player to your right chooses a color, then you, choo you choose a color, then the other player to your left chooses a third color. Okay. Destroy a target creature that's one or more of the colors chosen as you drafted cards named Ridge Side. Interesting. This is what's how called signaling. How about we let how about we let Paul choose a color? Actually, Paul, you can choose both the colors. Hmm. So you're first picking Regicide? Yes. This is what's called De signaling. Destroy a target creature in these colors. Yes. Alright. So it's I pick a color, mm -hmm. then Cam picks a color, and then I pick another color. Is that how we're going to do this? Or how about I pick a color, and then we can okay, all yeah. pick a color. Okay. Yeah, this, this so is Kathleen what's called Cam, information. And then I'll pick a color. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is destroy target X colored creature. Yes. And, and so it take, hits three colors. Green. Green. Writes down green. I will pick red. Let's let's go white. All okay, right, so Naya. That, that, Naya regicide. Excellent. All right, chat. Let's see what's in this this getting thicker by the day pile. Playing four dimensional chess. Huh. Interesting. I just want to look at all of my options, right? Mm. Mm -hmm. uh. Did you uh, put a card on the on the second pile? No, I no, I didn't. As someone suggested, you could just put a card down, like first, as you like pick mm. up the pack and put a card down mm. that you don't look at. Interesting. All right. Mm-hmm. Still good. Mm-hmm. Hold your cards a little lower here. Okay. Interesting. Nay. Oh, that is getting spicy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ugh. What's Ugh. interesting about the Winston drafting Ugh. is that... Uh, yeah. That card is like... Or that pile is like, yep. Sure is cards. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Put, put a card on top there. Oh, right. What's interesting about Winston drafting is it's the only draft format that you end up... With, that, that people can end up with different amounts of cards in their pool. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, all right then. Yeah, sure, why not? Oh, pile three's so spicy. Mm-hmm. Go. Okay, pile one, how hot are you? Right? I don't want to take any, like, they're not bad cards. No. Like, they're just cards I would take, like, well, ninth in a draft. Well, like, Veteran Motorist is really solid. How much equipment is in this? Yeah. Who knows, right? How many ninth cards mm -hmm. does it take to equal <laughs> one yeah, better build card? Build-arounds are tricky, right? Mm -hmm. 
Also, we were debating back and forth as to whether, uh, because of the chaos nature of this, whether we should like keep the packs. Mm -hmm. uh, like I thought it, it might be, it might have been interesting. I wonder how it would change the thing if if you shuffled the packs mm -hmm. so that you couldn't get the yeah, you know where rewarded. the rare was. Nice. Hmm. Rewarded. All right. All right. <sighs> It would be interesting if you uh, if you kept mm -hmm. them together, so you would get kind of stratas of sets. Mm. <laughs> Did I? No, I. Oh, I didn't. Hold on. I need to put a card on top. I think this pack is just has enough critical density of good stuff in it now that I'm going to take it. Mm -hmm. Like, the this card is good actually. Maybe if actually if you just want to tilt your camera up a little bit. All right. To make it closer to your natural. Yeah, my natural we, holding. We're height. both really bad at not replacing our pet, like mm -hmm. topping up it, the pack. It, that happened when uh, uh, Graham and Ben were doing it too. It's just it's a it's just an aspect of the Winston draft that's a little hard to remember. Yeah, especially if you don't do a lot of Winston drafting. Say go. All right, what's in here? So what what may you choose the packs that you chose? Um cuz I mean our 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 bucket full of uh cracker pack packs mm. gives us a pretty wide selection. Well, I just really like huh. Mm. Huh. The double double face card in the Winston draft is interesting. Yeah, lots of info there. It's a good card, too. I think this pack is spicy enough that I'm going to take it now. Hmm. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Back down to one. Hmm. Did you put a card on there, Kevin? On and pile, pile one? Oh, no, I'm so bad at this. Okay. Sorry. I'm going to have to start just talking my through saying, put a card down. Put a card it's down. Saying, Hello. try try putting a card down, like, as you for, pick it up. As you pick mm -hmm. it up, yeah. But then the, the, you know what? I'm going to take this. But then the cards, the packs aren't in order. Like, the cards aren't in order. Hmm. So then I'm going to have to be looking at the front and the back to figure out what's new. Nay. Thank How about you? the other person's responsible for putting cards down? Nay. That's actually, that works well because the other person has a vested interest in adding more cards to the pile. That's true. <laughs> Nay. Ha ha! Rewarded. Ha ha ha! Neat. Ooh. I don't want this card, but I kind of want this card. Effort. All right. Mm, I'm not feeling it. Hmm. Oh, I kind of really enjoyed this card. But it's not, like, compelling on its own. The who, and the who do you want to see deck build poll is literally neck and neck. Like, it's been one one vote separating the two of you back and forth almost the entire time. Yeah, I, you know I, what? Sure, let's do this. I feel like the, uh, I feel like 
whoever wins the pool is probably going to have the <laughs> spicier deck. That's okay. All right. All right. Yeah, actually, it's Nay. funny. It's funny you could, yeah, it's funny to evaluate, yeah, to evaluate uh, how your opponent's deck is doing based on whether people want to see that deck being built. Hmm. <laughs> it's just like you see your opponent grab a card and then suddenly there's a huge spike in people who want to see something happen <laughs> on that deck. They're like, like, oh, shit. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, I love this card. But I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> but not love, love. Eh. You win some, you lose some. Mm. Oh wow! I like as I was made my choice, I dropped below you in the voting threshold. <laughs> oh no! Fine. Harsh. Bah, 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 bah. Uh, yeah, absolutely not. I think that one's going to be with us for a while until like something hot. Yeah. Comes on. Oh hey, these are like useful. Sure. You know what? Thank you. This card got it, or we did it. When, uh, ugh. Uh. <sighs> yeah, I know, right? Nay, say I, nay. Yeah, and then all of a sudden there's going to be like a locust god in it or something, yeah. right? Oh, Christ. Nay. Nay, say I. Hmm. Wait. It, yeah. Whoa. Hmm. Sure. Hmm. Okay. Do we have to do something fancy for that card, or is it okay? No, it's fine. Hmm. Hmm. Still not compelling. <laughs> I know, I thought about it. I thought about it, and I was like, oh, it could... It's certainly just not gifts ungiven, is it? Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Yeah, you know what? Sure. God damn it. <sighs> I reveal Spire Phantasm as I draft it. Okay. The next time a player drafts a card from this booster pack, guess that card's name, then that player reveals the drafted card. Flying. When Drafted Phantasm enters the battlefield, if you guess correctly for a card named Spire Phantasm, draw a card. Holy shit, Cameron. So, it's so, a 3 2 flyer for four. Yeah, so I'm. So, how are we doing this? <laughs> I mean, you've got six packs. Just guess a card from literally any of these. Select for inspection. Select for inspection? Mm -hmm. Okay, if I draft a select for inspection. Yes. As then... my next card. Yes. Then you get to draw a card. Yes. Okay. When when this enters the battlefield. And that adds, has to be as my next card or just at all? Um, guess that card's name, then that player reveals the drafted card. So if I pick up a select for inspection, I have to show it to you. Like it's, yeah, I think. It, like it's supposed to be you're or, looking at the pack and you basically pick the second best card. Or like mm -hmm. you take this guy and pick the best card that's left in the pack because you think your opponent will take your next mm -hmm. the next person along will take it. What a plank! And I don't know how it works in this it. format. <laughs> yeah. She drafts it and then you get. Christ. Yeah. Okay. So. Chat was suggesting that Kathleen, whatever Kathleen drafts next. Oh, I have to guess the name of the card? 
you guess guess that card, and I guess if it is one of the cards in the pile that she took. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now I have to guess that card. Yeah. This is apparent. Here's the rest of the boosters. This is, this is normally you can you actually know what the cards are in the pack, but yeah. And Kathleen does have to reveal what card she did she drafted. After, she drafted after this to prove that she, it's not the right one. So you got to get the soul read on this. Bane Slayer Angel. Rocks Pike Master. Close. And it's a 3 3 with first strike. And other soldier creatures you control have first strike. Holy moly. Okay. I do not get to draw a card when it enters the battlefield. Okay. But he's still a burp. Mm hmm. All right. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. The what? I said, the what? Yeah, it's very, it's got a lot of uh, symbols and costs. <laughs> to know. <laughs> wow. That pile is just going to be somebody's whole pool by itself. Yeah. Uh, is this my life? I mean, you is can this take a my pick. life? <laughs> is this my pick? <laughs> You know what? Sure, why not? Oh. It's a known quantity rather than whatever the random thing is. You can almost think of it as like looting, you know? Mm. It's that, that, that idea. It's like, is a random card from my deck better than this card that I have in my hand? Ooh, yeah. So bad. It's so expensive. <laughs> but I'm thinking about it. All right. Yep. Yep. Did you put a card in there? Yep. Okay. Still is. Eh, yeah. <laughs> LOL. Mm hmm. What? And what? I know, it's just so much random jank. Yeah. Yes, we're learning. Only half it's, a Winston draft in. I mean, at this point, if you're one of the guys in that in that first <laughs> pile. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, interesting. That's what? Huh. K. Okay. Weird. At this, at this point, if you're one of the guys in that first pile, yep. then you're. Yep. Even if you yep. do get picked, yep. you're going to yep. know that it's because yep. of somebody else. Yeah, yeah, it's very demoralizing. <laughs> it's like, I don't want to win this way. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck it. I think I've pushed over the edge to the value of this pile. All right, all right, all right. Bold. You just, like, Bold. Your pool there. Yeah. Yes. Oh. <laughs> it's me. It's a me. Like, I guess if things go really wrong in this draft, somehow you could end up with one person with, like, not enough cards. Yeah. <laughs> and they just have to, like, fill up with land or something. This is fun, actually. What do you do? Oh, yeah. Hell, yes. Okay, cool. No, yeah, all right. And what is this? Sure. You can come along, too. Oh, Ah, 
Yes. Don't. Yeah, don't. I'm, I'm reading the chat to make sure I don't look at the screen because uh, we can see each other's those. draft cams. Yeah. So they're sort of in prior peripheral vision. I mean, I guess I could actually hide it from the, eh. hmm. from the screen. Interesting, but no. Weird. Sure. You know what? I like the cut of your jib. Of your weird, bad jib. Yep. Not as bad as it seems in this trash fire of a format. <laughs> oh, yeah. One of us is just going to get like... Masterpiece hanger back walker, you know? Yeah, well, I mean, I gotta get something for this deck at some point. Mm. Yeah. But let's see what's behind door number two. Mm. I will say that, uh, as a, a spoiler for Tap Tap Concede, mm -hmm. uh, I don't think. There is anything as spicy as what we opened on the Cracker Pack. Ooh, yeah. On Tap Tap Concede, which mm -hmm. you will have to watch on Monday when it comes out. God, there's like eight cards in here. Right, this card exists. Oh, it was a rare. Is this just a wombo combo? Ooh, I'm excited. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to, I really, I want to see what this is. Yeah, Ken's all right, giggling. fine, no, darn. fine, let's do it. Darn. <laughs> Why Tor did I pick a Laura? Tor Torment is by far the oldest set, set here, yes. Set. It goes Torment, Alara. Uh, Torment, Alara. Uh, or no, 2010. Torment, 2010. Alara, reborn. Um, really? Alara is older than. Oh, Alara is newer than 2010? I think so. It might be 2011? But 2010 came out in 2009, remember? Oh, right. Then Shadows, Kaladesh, and Take the Crown, I think. Is the no! Order. I'm going to get destroyed. I don't think my deck's very good. I've never Winston drafted before, though, so it's fun. Yeah, this is a weirdo thing to do. Yeah, it's so hard to read the signals. Oh, yeah! Sure. Sure. Yeah. I'm doomed. Christ. <laughs> oh no. Oh Christ. Yes. I think there's very little way you can not play four color in this. <gasps> It's funny to remember that Alara Reborn was all about Bolas messing stuff up, too. <laughs> These cards are so weird. Like, I mean, this card is... Man, if I was playing a good deck, this card would be lit. <laughs> make, make sure you keep track of which is the... Uh, uh, which, which is the actual, like, deck and which is the piles. Yeah. Oh, hey, buddies. Look at you. Man, that painting, though. Kev Walker. That's some good back right there. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought when I saw that card. 
Cam just keeps laughing. I'm so doomed. Oh, you're so. Mm. I, you you should know by now that Cam laughing is often not positive, not 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 at a positive development for Cam. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Oh, you're so bad. He's gonna take it. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. You're damn right. I am. I don't know what it is, but he's taking it and he's laughing. All right, you weirdo. Let's go. Torment was the all creature block, right? I I think I forget. Torment I think was heavily biased towards black cards, and Judgment was heavily biased towards white cards. Mm. Oh no, that was Legion. Sorry, I always get those <laughs> messed up. Torment had like madness in it. Oh yeah, I Torment remember. was just like yeah, heavily black. Mm -hmm. Why do we need a drawback on this effect? It was a simpler time. Actually, no, it's a more complicated time <laughs> in most cases. Oh, well, we're down to no cards in the library. So that's it. Interesting. Hmm. All right. I mean, I none of these work for me, really. Oh, right, these guys. Yeah. Okay. Oh, hey, look at this art. Look oh. at this art. <laughs> There's an effect on this card somewhere, but damned if I'm going to read it. It's a lot of words in a color I'm not playing. Oh, right. You. Thanks. Pile one didn't get a card because there are no, there are no, there are no cards. cards left in the library. <laughs> I'm not going to crack another pack to, to keep this draft going. Yeah, man. Talking about conspiracy stuff. If uh, pull that, he's not in uh, Take the Crown, but in the original conspiracy, that guy that adds another booster to the whole thing. <laughs> right, where you're just like, ah, oh, no. Just messes things up completely. Yeah. Now we have to play more magic. That one's yours, Cameron. Don't. Oh. Right. Well, so Cameron has nice 112 anyway. votes, and I have a. Oh no, we both tied with 112 <laughs> votes now. Oh, Cam's up to 114, and. <laughs> oh man. You're monsters, you know it's that. It's neck chat? and neck. Oh, how exciting! Who's gonna watch my sweaty pile come together? Anybody who knows. Well, way to go, chat. You get nothing now. No, no. We'll get, we'll get a couple minutes. Hey, Cam, let's freestyle some jokes. How are you? I'm tired. Ah, I'm exhausted as well. I got, like, four hours sleep last night. Me too. How many co how many pots of coffee are you on? Oh, like, three at least. I wonder if these things are related at all. Oh, definitely not. I was definitely not up till past four in the morning making poor life choices mm. because uh, Penelope is at her grandparents' house for a sleepover. Mm. Yeah, it's great. I've been getting my ass kicked in Destiny 2 multiplayer. Mm. Oh, Cam, you've pulled way ahead now. Look, you're 141 oh. to my 131. Mm. So, I mean, obviously, so there you go. I, I, I like the, the idea that you were up late making poor life choices, that, like, staying up late wasn't the bad life choice. Mm -hmm. just, you it had just, to, it you, provided you had, a space in which other poor life choices yeah, could be. in order to have enough, to be. Yeah, enough time in the day to I make all the poor life choices. All right, so I think, I think uh, we've been... We've been We've been uh, uh, shooting the shooting the poop for mm. a few minutes, and Cam is way up, 150 votes to my 139. 
So that means we're going to take a quick break and we're going to come back and we're going to watch Cam build on stream. All right. And we'll see this and you can be surprised by this sweaty shash pile mm. uh, after the deck build. So stick around. We'll be yeah. right back. Okay. Oh, hi there. I didn't see you come in. Um, hi, and welcome back to Friday Night Paper Fight here at the Loading Ready Run Broadcast Network. I'm Cameron, and I will be deck building this thing that I assembled in a Chaos Winston draft. So, um, let's rap about magic, kids. Uh, generally you want creatures so that you can attack your opponent. Removal to remove your opponent's creatures, and that's about it. Really, that, that, that's kind of what you want. Everything else is gravy. So let's talk about it. Um, due to drafting uh, a card later in the, in, in the environment, uh, I know that Regicide may be a card that we can just run, because I know that Kathleen is probably on white, uh, having seen that she, first, or she picked a um, white soldier elephant that gives first strike to other soldiers. So... Uh, Mm -hmm. there we go. All right. Uh, so this is Naya Regicide, so it, it'll probably hit something. Um, Capital Punishment. This is a weirdo card. I don't think I've ever used this before, but I love Council's Dilemma. Starting with you, each player votes for death or taxes. Each opponent sacrifices a creature for each death vote and discards a card for each taxes vote. So... Six mana, and opponent, I edict something, and they discard a card. It's probably not great, but... Uh, 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 uh. Maybe, maybe. Uh, I don't think I'm going to run Veteran Motorist, even though it's quite good. Um, I'm probably not going to run Quilled Wolf, even though it's totally acceptable. Coveted Peacock is a three-power flyer. Hi, get in. Um, Merciless Resolve, what do you even do? As an additional cost to cast Merciless Resolve, sacrifice a creature or land, draw two cards. It's an instant. We'll put it in the maybe pile. I mean, I don't remember it really doing anything in Shadow's Draft, but who knows? Consulate Skygate, you're a two mana 0 4 Defender Reach. You don't win the game, but you prevent me from losing it for a little while, maybe? Uh, oh yes, this also has Goad. So when it attacks, uh, a creature an opponent controls, a target creature opponent controls, uh, must attack next turn. Can you actually just um, not uh, move the cards off the reader, just so when oh. you when you move something aside, it doesn't read the one below it again? Uh, Consulate Skygate. I'm probably going to play. Probably, it's it's it'll stop a bunch of like aggro strategies early. Thriving Ibex. We're going to have a good hard look at our mana base and see what we think. Um, this is a, this is a good creature. It's a good creature. Uh, Scrap Heap Scrounger. Yes. Hi. If able. Attacks if able. That was a snap keep on that one. Yeah, yeah I like that guy. Dual Shot. Probably not playing red. Glint Nest Crane. Get a 1-3 flyer. Look at the bottom four cards of your library. Yeah, sure. Kite Sail. Equipment. Uh, creature gets plus one, plus zero, and has flying. It's a little pricey. But sure, I mean, in a weird rando format, flying in more power is usually okay. Sinister Concoction. I enjoy this card a lot. Uh, one black, pay one life, put the top card of your library into your graveyard, discard a card, sacrifice Sinister Concoction, destroy target creature. It's neat. I'm running it. Try to stop me. Bonds of Quicksilver. It's um, four mana, flash, and crust. Basically, it's a bad encrust. It just means it doesn't untap. But sometimes if something's beating you in the face, then just having it tapped is probably fine. Uh, impeccable timing. Three damage to an attacking or blocking creature. Maybe. Mm, nagging thoughts. I love this card. Look at the top two cards of your library. Put one on them. Put one of them into your hand and the other into your graveyard. With madness! Madness! I love it. I love it. Uh, 
Um, Rebecca Gayard. Rebecca Gayard. Dwell in the past. One green. Target player shuffles up to four target cards from his or her graveyard into his or her library. See ya. Temporary insanity. Later. Lanawar Elves. You're a good card in somebody else's deck. Aquamoeba. It's a 1-3 for one and a blue. You have a power and toughness for a not unreasonable mana cost. Sure, you get in. Uh, Grixis Sojourners. I'm not playing red. Oh, wait. When you cycle Grixis Sojourners, or it's put into a graveyard from play, you remove target card in a graveyard from the game. Draw a card for two and a black, exile something, is not an effect I'm terribly excited to play. Yeah, putting them in just for the cycling seems not a great Yeah, one. Wall of Fire. Yeah, it's an 05 with fire breathing. What, what's he doing? What's what's happening here? It's a 3-3 three, three for 5 mana, Paul, that mills you whenever it becomes the target of a spell or ability. Uh, I understand that there was a deck built around these guys um, at some point in the distant past. So, if we, if we, if we think about <laughs> Yeah, you milling, know what? Sure. Get in here, buddy. If we think about milling, you know, in the context of the game is like, mm -hmm. you know, messing with your brain. Mm -hmm. There's something, it's like whatever these guys get hit, they like make a loud screeching noise that distracts you or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I, Slave of Bolus is obviously getting in. Gain control of target creature, untap that creature, gains haste until end of turn, sacrifice at the end of turn. It's a removal spell that's also a net mark, mark of mutiny. Act yeah. of treason. In it's Sang Sang right back but no. Goodbye. Hit it How, just because oh, you oh, can't oh, pronounce oh. it. The wombo combo. Are we splashing white? Do we have any capacity to splash white? Uh, no, not really. But we mmm. Mmm. Emerald Oryx, later. Sage, Singe Mind Ogre, later. Compulsion, <laughs> hell yeah. Rummage on a stick. So I, what, you're hoping for blue-black here, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm building towards blue-black. Crippling Fatigue, one black, black, minus two, minus... Target creature gets minus two, minus two. Flashback for one in a black, pay three life. Yeah, it's it's two removal spells. Gorge your worm. It's a big worm. Cancel, absolutely. Playing bad cards. Uh, Restless Dreams, this might actually be good. Um, I mean, it's card disadvantage, but hopefully you're getting back better cards than you uh, than than you blew it away than you're discarding with it. Um, I'm willing to give it a shot. The stakes have never been lower, and I I I, I think I want to try this weirdo little card. Child of Night, you work fine. D does Restless Dreams combo with that Cephalid? I mean, kind of. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> um. So yeah. So yeah, you you cast restless dreams, you pitch any number of cards and you regrow that many cards, that number of creature cards. Spire Phantasm. You sure are a 3-2 flyer for 4. Welcome. Uh <laughs> I like that both you and Kathleen had extreme reactions to this guy. Yeah, reveal the top X plus one cards of your library and separate them into two piles. An opponent chooses one of those piles. Put that pile into your hand and the other into your graveyard. So for one in a blue, this is think twice if you have to reveal it, right? It, you, you, you pay, or you pay one blue, or you pay blue. You reveal X cards plus one, so zero plus one is one. You reveal the top card of your library. Your opponent's like, 
okay. Um, I put it into this pile containing one card. Uh, no, this is just mill one. This is bad. No, it doesn't work. It doesn't it's, work. It's it's like reverse factor fiction. Yeah, it doesn't work. Subtle strike. Uh, sure, why not? Dauntless Cath Cathar. I like this creature. Um, it was fine. White. We'll have to look at what how we can make white work. Yeah, I'm liking a lot of your white. Yeah, our white is totally fine. Um, the question is whether our uh. Maybe our red is also okay. Like, we're already playing black, so that works. Green, we're probably not in. Sangre back Backlash is actually fine. Um, Wall of Fire, Grixis Sojourners. Temporary Insanity, what do you even do? Untap creature with power less than the number of cards in your graveyard and gain control of it until end of turn. That creature gains haste until end of turn. Oh, it's a Mark of Mutiny with a weirdo like limitation on it. Yeah. Bad mark of mutiny. Yeah. Um, dual shot is another functional card. Um, and then we could also run veteran motorist if we... No, wait, we would need to splash both white and, and red. So that's not happening. Um, you also don't have any vehicles. So. Mm -hmm. Oh, it is an instant. Okay. Okay. So we're looking at maybe a red splash here, in which case Wall of Fire is definitely not in, because double splash, no. Um, Singe Mind Ogre. You're a 3-2 for 4. When Singe Mind Ogre comes into play, target reveals a card at random from his or her hand, then loses life equal to that card's converted mana cost. So, worst case scenario, it does nothing when it enters the battlefield, because you reveal a land. So it's um, a 3-2 for 4. Yeah. Mm. Not a huge fan. So far, not a splash worth having. Dual shot is okay. Temporary insanity. Oh, yeah, I mean, not bad. Not bad. Sojourners are 4-3 four, for 4, which is not bad. Um, accelerate. Creature gets haste. Draw a card. I'm not terribly excited about it. Backlash would be worth splashing for. Hulking Devil is... No. Um... So that's that would be the argument for a red splash. Sangrite backsla backs Backlash, Temporary Insanity, and Grixis Sojourners are kind of like red playables. Um, let's look at white for a white splash. Dauntless Cathar, good card. Palace Guard, also probably fine. Uh, indestructibility, LOL. Um, wombo Combo with Palace Guard. Militant Monk attacking, oh, okay, it's a 2 1 for 3 with Vigilance that you can tap to prevent the next one damage that would be, be, be dealt to target creature or player this turn. Okay, I guess. Um, thriving Ibex, you're a two four. You're a good. You're a good goat. You're a very good goat. Um, you're like battle cattle that can also grow itself, and impeccable timing. Sunlance. Uh, so militant monk is a hard ask for a two one, with vigilance. So these would be what we could splash in white. So far, I'm liking the white splash more than the uh, red splash, even though eh, this is a bit janky. I think the red splash might actually be stronger. You think so? That indestructibility is always fun. I mean, even if it's not on the bodyguard. Yeah. Or the I mean, it, it's not bad. Um, like, indestructibility is good. It is good. Um, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. <coughs> oh, God. 20. We need creatures. 
quite badly. So. Yeah, white gives you a few extra creatures. Yeah. Hmm. So one cut, huh? But what of these what one of these incredibly powerful cards do we cut? The mill yourself cut, but it's a 3/3. Three, three. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. But it's a 5 mana 3/3. Three, three. That's unbeatable. There, fine. This is kind of hilariously weird, um, but maybe maybe we'll experience something. Maybe it'll maybe it'll do something. So you're at twenty three now. Yeah. So uh, with that white splash, you got like no fixing, right? Nope. So I might even like cut the six mana edict and go with the devil's mana base. <laughs> Six six six. Six, 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 six. Yeah. Even though you only, even though you're only splashing white. Yeah. I mean, I've got five white mana symbols, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight black, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve blue. So it would really be something like. Uh, Seven blue, six black. Four, there isn't five, any weird. Uh, um, seven six five. Oh no, there isn't any. You don't have any weird like flashback costs or cycling costs on anything, do you? Well, I've got crippling fatigue, which is one, but no, nothing off color. Hmm. What we're at twenty three now. Two three four five six seven eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Oh, so we have to make one more cut for the Devil's Mana Base. Um, wow, people are mad. About the Mana Base decisions? I have no idea. Somebody's shouting in chat, though. Um, sure. Why not? This only returns creature cards, right? So what are my actual creatures? One. Two. Three. Four, five. Six, seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Yeah, control in Winston is totally a thing. Goodbye, kite sail. Not for ten creatures. Um. Yeah. All right. I think that's that's our twenty-two, and then we'll uh, we'll see what else happens. Hopefully, we don't just get run over. But our two drops are fairly uh, fairly numerous, so hopefully, we'll be able to do something with it. Um. Okay. Okay. It's not the worst. It's not the worst. What a weirdo format. Okay. Well. <coughs> All right. All right. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. And they can't run over you if you've got indestructible palace guards. It's or they could fly, but or they could fly, I suppose. But then we would put the indestructibility on. <laughs> oh my god! Wabam! <laughs> what now? No. I just like the idea of just like you just have this indestructible guard, mm -hmm. like tied to a kite. That's like flying above your palace. You're like, ha ha! Now what are you gonna do? <laughs> it's this is so weird. Okay, I guess this is my life.
This is my life. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, so we're going to go on a quick break, and when we come back, you will see Kathleen and I battle it out with this strange pile of stuff. So uh, catch you on the flip side, chat. Later. Welcome back to Friday Night Paper Fight here at the Loading Ready Run Broadcast Network. I'm Cameron. I'm Kathleen, and I was putting my phone on. Do not disturb. <laughs> <laughs> so we've uh, we've both Winston drafted Winston Chaos drafted decks. I have some cards. As do I. Objectively, this is an objective fact. Uh, we have gone through deck building. Yes. And we are about to determine first player. Yeah, I definitely, we've gone through this, the, the, the nine stages of grief, which is mm. agonizing over your picks and then wondering why I don't have more playables. Uh, finally, acceptance and then grief again. Mm. Uh, it just cycles. <laughs> yeah, I guess, I guess you, there's an extra go to 10 line in there somewhere. Yeah, I got a five. All right. I got a seven. Play or draw? I will play? Excellent. Or do I want to draw? Oh, no. I think I want to draw, actually. Oh, I dear. want an extra card. Well, whatever happens, happens. That also means I can mulligan maybe a bit more aggressively. Mm. All right. Good luck and have fun. Same to you. Mm. I'm not confident in my Winston's drafting abilities. Well, it can only go up. That's true. Oh my god, Windmill Slam. Do you guys have uh, deck names? Uh, uh. This hot mess. <laughs> the, the slight hesitation when I said mess. I think that really like <laughs> speaks to what's happened here. Uh, we'll I'm sleeved, Kathleen. You saw what I chose. There's nothing worth sleeping here. <laughs> Great aspirations. Ooh. All right, I'm keeping. I will also keep. So I'm going to go. Swamp. Yeah. Can I can I rules lawyer something because I haven't played with these cards before. Mm hmm. So. Does this work? Chat, swamp, pay one, Mist Bane Vorder Post, which is you may pay one and return a basic land you control to its owner's hand rather than pay Mist Bane Vorder, Vorder Post mana cost. Yeah. So I could just bounce this. I, th I think so, yeah. That should that should work like that. Excellent. Mist yeah, Bane Vorder Post. Okay. Yep. It does not, but I just wanted to double check. Yep. Go ahead. All right. Tap, so. Yes. Planes go. Wow. Uh, let's see. I'm going to play uh, a forest and then tap for black and colorless. And I'm going to play our rancid rats, which have skulk and death touch. Okay. It can only be blocked by one ones. Go ahead, Cameron. Island. Go. Attack you with my rats. Uh, I've been ratted. Rat -a -tat -a -tat -a -tat -a Play planes. Doomed traveler. Okay. Go ahead. Swamp. Tap three for Dauntless Cathar. Oh, no, a three two. Mm hmm. Um, say go. Swamp. Mm hmm. Uh, what do I want to do here? Can I read Dauntless Cathar? Yep. It is a 3-2 human soldier. 
for one and a white, you can exile it from your graveyard to make a 1-1 one, one spirit token. Oh, excellent. All right. Well, Anytime I could activate a sorcery. Uh, Paul, mm -hmm. I suspect I might need a spirit token. Can I bother you to find one for me, please? Thank you. All right, I am get ratted. Uh, I'm ratted thoroughly. Yeah, uh, let's see. What do I want to play now? I'm going to play a Griffin Sentinel, which is a 1 3 flyer with vigilance. Okay. Say go. It's the one, the white spirit, right? Yep. Attack. Mm, I'll. I will block with my Doom Traveler and make All a right. spirit. We'll actually probably need two. Uh, second main. Thriving Ibex. A Thribex? A Thribex. I never even saw this card. You know what? I have three. Oh. <gasps> Generous. All right. Well, I need one immediately. One. All right. Ooh. Fate Reforged. All right. So you said go? I said go. And I have two energy. Vom. Uh, get ratted and griffoned in the air. Uh, yeah, I take two. Ha ha! The plan is coming together. Now I'm just going to start getting punched. Uh, some, say go. For okay. some reason, I imagine the thriving Ibex with like one of those, uh, just like iPhone power banks <laughs> kind of strapped to it. <laughs> Planes. Um,. Declare attacks. Mm -hmm. Spend two energy. Okay. To put a counter on it. Okay. Uh, flash in a winged quattle. Okay. Which has death touch to block your ibex. Huh. Okay. No three fives take three, here. Take three. Yes. Um. Say go. So nobody's playing red, eh? Apparently not. I didn't pick up a lot of red cards, honestly. There was nothing like, there were, there were decent cards in red, but there nothing that I was like, oh, well, this pulls me to red. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I take three. Uh, a Voyaging Seder, untap okay. target land. My fixing is on point, I must say. Mm. In that you have fixing. Yes. Go ahead. Um, end of your turn. Shram, Bonds of Quicksilvering, Rancid Rats. What's they do that? not untap. Okay. Another swamp. Um, attack with Dauntless Cathar. I'll take three. All right. Second main. Glint Nest Crane. When Glint Nest Crane enters the battlefield, look at the top four cards of your library. You may reveal an artifact card from among them and put it into your hand. Oh, the natural. That feels good. Look at the dot. Look at the bottom four cards of your library. Oh. All of those would have been good gets. All right, but we're fine. This is fine. This is normal. This is what this is supposed to look like. Uh, pass the turn. Oh wait, they don't untap. I'm just gonna mm -hmm. move them over to the side. I'm 
going to play a runaway carriage. Okay. It has trample. Whenever it attacks or blocks, sacrifices at the end of combat. All right. Uh, and I'm going to move my Mistmade Order Post down here so you don't think it's a creature. Mm. You have a 1-3 flyer now. My 1-3 flying vigilance plan. Shut down. Uh, Just merciless. Let's see. Go. Mm. Interesting. Slave of Bolus targeting runaway carriage. What's Ping. it do? Uh, gain control of target creature, untap that creature, it gains haste until end of turn, sacrifice it at end of turn. Oh, excellent. So, I will grab your run away, run away carriage. See any of these cards. Uh, declare attacks. Oh, it was my plan to block the, run the, block the Cathar with the carriage. Ugh. All right. Hold on. I don't want to block anything else. I can't take eight. This is before Bolas really figured out it's his whole like too, which really sucks. controlling system. Mm. You're mine, carriage. No oh, screw it. No I'll take eight. Rider. I'll go to six. All right. Uh, okay. Sacrifice that. Um, pass the turn. Blood Toll Harpy, we each lose a life. All right. We're going to the red zone. Okay, so for three? Three. Three. Go. Attack. Trade? Yep. Um, second phase, second main, Coveted Peacock. It Ooh. is a 3-4. Whenever co Coveted Peacock attacks, you may go target creature defending player controls. Mm -hmm. Until your next turn, that creature attacks each combat if able and attacks a player other than you if able. It does nothing. That's a 3-4 flyer. And then I'll exile my Dauntless Cathar. And get a 1-1. One, one. And get a 1-1. One, one. Say go. Give me that peacock. Uh, shrewd negotiation. Exchange control of target artifact you control and target artifact to creature you don't control. You can have my Mistvane border post. Mm -hmm. I'll take your coveted peacock. Okay. It's not, the, it's not the worst for Cameron. It's like fixing in his colors. Mm. It, uh, as somebody pointed out, um, the Coveted Peacock still, uh, it's a it's Oh, a it force still attack. forces an attack? Yeah. Okay. Mm. So even if I control it? I did covet the Peacock. It's very, it's very, uh, it's very... Uh, Flavor appropriate, mm. but that it does have summoning sickness right now. Mm -hmm. So, we have a one one and You're a forgetting one the commandment: "Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's peacock." It's true. Mm -hmm. J 
jam. Okay. I'll... Double block the satyr. Okay. I'll kill the spirit token, I guess. All right. Boop. My turn? Yes, your turn. Ah, uh, good. <laughs> Meba. <laughs> what did he do again? Uh, it's a 1 3 for one and a blue mm -hmm. with discard a card from your hand. Switch Aquamiba's power and toughness until end of turn. Cool. Go. <laughs> uh, you take damage from the griffin. The what? Oh, yeah, I took one from the griffin. Oh, yes. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Uh, I'm going to make these attacks. Uh, whenever a coveted peacock attacks, you may go target creature defending player controls until your next turn that creature attacks each combat enable and attacks a player other than you if able. Hmm. I'll go with your gilt nest crane. Okay. Your glint nest crane. Um, I'll block griffin sentinel. Mm -hmm. You take three. Okay. Go. Sinister Concoction. Oh no, what's that do? Pay one life, put the top card of your library into your graveyard. Discard a card, sacrifice sin Sinister Concoction. Destroy target creature. Oh wow. Pay one black. My beautiful plans. Pay one life, put the top card of your library into your graveyard. Yes. It's like, do one of everything. Sacrifice Sinister Concoction. <sighs> Destroy Crap. Coveted Peacock. Sigh. Um... You, the, the, I think the crane still has to yes, attack. Yes, it still has to attack. Oh, discard a card? Uh, attacks. Discard from your hand, a card from your hand, switch its power and toughness. Five, how dangerous do I want to live? Because you eat a spirit either way. I'm going to assume that you don't want to discard that card. Mm. Those are my blocks. Bold. Uh, those are your blocks, yes. Take one. Pass the turn. Cool. Uh, prophetic Prism. When it enters the battlefield, draw a card. All right. Tap. Add one color of add one man of any color to my mana pool. Not helpful. But I can get in for one. Certainly, you. I am one. All right. Go ahead. This Griffin is going to go all the way. Vigilance. I, I like that the peacock is, what, a 3-4? Something like that. Mm -hmm. but the it was griffin, so powerful. But the griffin is a 1-3. Yeah. Yep. <sighs> like, we have peacocks around here. I'm doing so much better than I thought I would, honestly. Restless dreams. Oh. Discarding oh. <laughs> indestructibility. <laughs> <laughs> to get back. Peacock? Coveted peacock. Oh, okay. I'm dead. Well, maybe not this turn, but maybe probably next turn. Three, four. Cast Coveted Peacock. Mm -hmm. um, pass the turn. Scoop it up. All right. I'll take that back. Okay. 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 I need to sideboard. There are no peacocks. We, can't. we have lots of peacocks. We have peacocks at, at the park. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they're not, I don't know if they're, they're not like native here, but uh, there's a, uh, 
there's a petting zoo. You, you, you've seen them in videos, actually. Behind. Yeah, they they but, walk around and do stuff. Yeah, there's a there's a like a it's not a well it's a petting zoo, but the peacocks aren't like in the petting part. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way. <laughs> Oh yes. You can't pet peacocks, and you wouldn't want yeah. to because they're bastards. They're the peacocks in the park are quite tame, though. Hmm. I just I like the idea that like there's the peacocks are in the, there's like an enclosure, but there's no like top on the enclosure. Yeah. And so the peacocks just kind of fly around. Yeah, they but, wander around and they make god awful noises. Yeah, yeah. So they just kind of wander around the park, uh, outside of their enclosure. Mm hmm. Like yelling at people. Yeah. Um attacking people i do like to, i i just like that uh that there's sort of everyone just like pretends that the peacocks are like in the zoo even <laughs> yeah. though they could just they could just leave whatever they wanted to but they have no particular reason to leave because yeah. that's where their food is yeah exactly they're, they're basically feral that return home to 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 feed I mean, they're, they're probably actually behaviorally fine. I just associate them with this god-awful noise that sounds like somebody murdering somebody. Mm. Yeah. Or Wah! somebody being murdered. Wah! And they start at like four in the morning. Yeah, apparently people love peacocks unless they live beside them. Mm -hmm. There's like a bunch of peacocks that were like, uh, that are like living in like South Surrey or whatever, and people mm -hmm. are like trying to like drum them out of it. Because like people mm -hmm. love them, except for the people who live on the block beside where the peacocks roost. And some guy just got, like, a huge fine for cutting down a tree in his front yard without authorization because the peacocks were, like, shitting it up, literally. Oh, God. They are just like, aren't they beautiful? And he's like, all I hear is screeching. Yes. All I smell is yeah. peacock guano. Yeah. Which is not good for anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're, be uh, they're best as something that you can go visit. Not, yeah. Not something yeah, exactly. that, like, lives beside you. Uh, I, I will play I, I saw a tweet the other day where somebody was saying that they saw a toddler in a park screaming bad dog at a goose and they haven't been able to stop thinking about that Aww. it's it's fair i mean a goose yeah. is it's a terrible a, dog yeah, it's a very bad dog i took penelope to the park and we fed some birds and she was like mm, oh. when she saw the geese because they're like the size of her right yeah what about goats has she encountered the goats yes, yet? Yes, we've taken her to the petting zoo, and she likes the goats in theory, mm -hmm. but does not like going in there in practice. No, yeah, fair enough. Because they're a little scary. Mm -hmm. And she's got blonde hair, too, which is dangerous. Really? They, well, it's like straw. Yeah. Oh, oh, and really? Go, goats will cut. They, like, it's not, like, dangerous, dangerous, mm. but when I, when I was a kid, I, me and my brother both had blonde hair, which got darker as time went on but mm. but they, the, 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 people, goats, the, the, the goats, goats were have, definitely like well that's obviously food absolutely no question about but eating your hair have you ever spent 20 minutes looking at the ducks in the petting zoo not uh consecutively well i have <laughs> mm -hmm. are you on the play or the draw? i'll be on the play okay i feel like my deck is low to the ground and wily mm. i'll keep this bizarro hand oh i can't keep this Speaking of birds, uh, mm -hmm. keeping awake, there's there's a bird outside my place that has really taken the whole early bird thing to heart. Mm -hmm. Oh, so it's like 4 a.m. It's like time to get yeah. up. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's like it's like three or four. It just starts going off, and it's just like yo, it, and you know, it, I feel I sort of feel kind of bad for him because he's like doing it, and there's there's never any other like you never hear yeah, any other calls, uh, replies or anything. No. Yeah, it's just. It's like, dude, too much of a good thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, spend enough time around birds and you realize that all bird calls are essentially, hey, 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 hey. And you're like, I want them all dead. Well, I do there's, get to scry. It's like, four in the morning. I want them all dead. And there's birds that have like a nice, like, call like a nice like song right mm -hmm. i don't i think i have to throw this back i realize i scribed but i was like no wait what am i doing there's no land here and then there's birds that have there's birds that are the equivalent of just somebody standing outside your house yelling the word cheap <laughs> <laughs> just like cheap cheap it should have been on the draw mm. oh well going to five boss i'd like some land mm. in my hand 
that seems like a good place for it. I do. I remember when we were doing some filming up at Beacon Hill Park where the peacocks are. You know, when there when there is like you know, there's Just a couple a peacocks sense. around. I'd are you rather, sure? I'd rather play real games of magic. All right. Well, we'll see. When there's a couple of peacocks around and sort of mating season and stuff, and they'll be like the the pea hen standing there and yes this is fine the male peacocks will come up and just go whoop, with their yeah just be like whoop, with and their then, displays and then, and then she'll just like walk away yeah like, sorry sorry i know i came on a little too strong <laughs> there i apologize whoop. all uh, right okay forest wildfire border oh folks. all the fixing Oh, yes. I prioritized fixing very highly and no, locked that, into that, one piece. That's Go probably ahead. quite wise. I uh, At the lack of playables, though. Mm. Uh, swamp. Sinister concoction. Uh-oh. It's going to take a while to put this one together. Yeah. Uh, it, it's got to mature. Uh, Sago. Uh, forest. The same. Voyaging oh. Seder. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. Ramping with such ferocity. Um, island. Say go. Island. Uh, attack you for one. I have been one. White Doom Traveler. All right. Go ahead. Planes. Sago. Island. Taking two here, boss. Go ahead. Sure, I'm doing nothing till turn four here, boss. Uh. Thrivex. Mm. Two energy. Mm -hmm. Sago. I would like to draw. Okay, now I'm flooding out. But that's okay. Uh, crystallization. Enchanted right. creature. Enchanted creature can't can't attack or block. When it All becomes right. a target of a spell or ability, remove it from the game. Okay. I take two again. Go ahead. Spire Phantasm. Because I did not correctly guess the next card to be drafted, it does not draw a card when it enters the battlefield. Mm. Uh... A spell. A swamp. Go. Phantasm attacks. I take three. Pass the turn. Get toed. Uh, I've been thoroughly toed. Say go. All right. Attack. Flash in a winged coattle? Say nay. Wow. Cancelled. So I take... Three. Um... Oh, I asked for a spell, and I did get one. Say go. Take two. Go. Attack. 
Take three. This is my life. Crippling fatigue on the voyaging satyr to give it minus two, minus two. Wow. Pass the turn. Oh my god. Well, I now have all my mana. Congratulations. I just got to draw literally anything. Please just draw me a spell. Can't block. All right. Going to 10. Attack with Spire Phantasm. Going eight. Um, Aqua Amoeba. Okay. Say go. Rocks Pikes Master gives my other soldiers first strike. Incidentally, Doom Traveler's a soldier. Hmm. So now he's first strike. But of course, none of those things block flyers, but say go. Okay. Um, end of turn, I'll reach aside the yeah. Pike Master. Yeah. Uh, it was Naya. Yep. Attacks? Yeah, I take question mark, question mark, question mark, because you can pay for Aquamoeba's ability if you wish. Um, I will not pay for Aquamoeba's ability. Go to four. Say go. I'm done using my wildfire border post. Mm hmm. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to take your. Uh, I interest you in this very sparkly, thriving Ibex. I'm going to take your Spire Phantasm. Oh. But Ibex gonna, is so sparkly. I'm also going to play a land for the turn. Say okay. go. Oh, is it still tapped? Because it doesn't. It doesn't yeah, say, it doesn't say untap it. No, it just says gain control. Um. I. I mean, if Cam has like any spells, then he. Would I would like to reacquire possession of my spire phantasm. Scoop it up. I'm sorry. No, that's fine. I. I think that my deck, despite not being very good is doing better than I thought, but I would have really liked more spells. Yeah, that's rough, actually. Eh, well, that's okay. What did you uh, sideboard? I sideboarded in a plummet and an Ooh. angel's feather. Oh, interesting, To give me yeah. more crappy artifacts to give you. Yeah, 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 no, hilarious. Yeah. Ooh. But unfortunately I lost. I guess we can play one more exhibition game. Sure, it's so not like, eight o'clock yet. No. I'm pretty sure all the games are exhibition games, mm. as opposed to part of the regular season. I of think. I think what I've determined Chaos is I'm Winston. not good at Winston, mm. Gra Winston draft. Wait, is it an artifact? You can grab an artifact or creature with shrewd negotiation. I think it's actually yeah. quite a good card in this set. Yeah, no, it's like, it turns no, out like. Did I pick up anything good? No, but you probably did, or at least yeah. something that's got that's something that might keep me alive for a turn. Like, I mean, yeah, it's card disadvantage, but if you're trading your worst creature for like. A stone bomb. Oh yeah, or an artifact. I don't yeah, need to like fix a my mana rock anymore. anymore. Yeah. Inexperienced with Winston Draft. I really am. Mm. This is literally the first time I've done it, and I don't think I made good picks. But eh. shrewd negotiation with treasure tokens. Yeah. Or clues. Clues. There's Phyrexian all Plank. All right. Do, 
See. I'm going to play first. Good luck. Why can I not actually draw a hand with land in it? It went no land hand, no land hand, hand with nice a nice amount of land and fixing. And I went, okay, good, good, good. And then I drew like nothing but land, which is part of the game. So you can't get salty about that. It's just how life goes. Okay. But I have some. I do have some good cards in here. I would like to play. I think I can keep this. I'll keep this. I did pick up some good. I picked up like two good red cards, but I don't have any red fixing, so I thought it was a bit greedy. Mm. Yeah, I was considering going Grixis, but I thought the white cards I had were better. Because I had so few creatures in blue and black. Mm. Hmm. I didn't pick up all that many red cards, though. Did you? Not really. I so didn't I see anything that was really like. Maybe this pack. Maybe great. these packs didn't have a lot of red in them. Yeah, it's possible, right? There's just variance in that way. There was. There were. I got. I think three decent red cards. Mm. But nothing exceptional. Mm. Okay, well, all, you know what, fine, sure. What are you? Yeah, I'll keep you. Okay. Uh, swamp, go. Also swamp, go. Rancid rats. Oh dear. Go. Um, planes. Go. Get one. Impeccable timing. Deal three damage to target attacking creature. Oh, good. Okay. All right, and then. Boop, boop, boop. This is actually. This card, because I didn't have any flip card checklist. Oh, okay. It's a hair. It's an heir of Falconrath, and discard a card. Transform heir of Falconrath. I activate this ability once each turn. Okay. So you can't just pitch your hand to it. Yeah, because otherwise, like, I mean, it doesn't do anything. But mm. uh... replaces putrid imp in vintage. Yeah. It's funnily enough, there was a putrid imp in here. Yeah, I saw it, and I was like, oh, you're a one-one for one that doesn't do anything else. Oh, absolutely not. All right, uh, say go. Crippling fatigue, the air. Minus two, minus two until end of turn. Oh, I'm so sad. My big plans. Say go. She's, she's tired. Haha, -ha, look at that natural four color perfect. Go ahead. I've got no more plays. Island? Mm-hmm. <sighs> the same. The Thriving Abax. Two energy. Pass the turn. Go. Planes. Attack. Mm -hmm. Spend two energy to put a plus one plus one counter on the thriving Ibex. Select for inspection to return target tap creature to its owner's hand and scry. Blah. Get ye to the bottom of my deck. I say nay to that draw. Ha. Huh. Um, the same yep. thriving Ibex. Say go. Oh my god. <laughs> deck, please. 
Please, we have modes that are other than flood and screw. By the way, that was our button at cardkingdom.com. A Card kingdom of cards. cards. <laughs> Go. <laughs> uh. Uh, okay. My turn? Yes. I like how I have six mana and nobody has done any damage to anybody. Mm. Um, Turn six. Let's get some action on this board here. Absolutely. Attack. Put a counter on Thriving Eyebacks. I'm going to take three. Okay. Say go. Go. So oh my god. No, it's fine. This is relaxing. This is Friday Night Magic. Here where we sit back, relax, and enjoy the fact that this deck is somehow cursed because it is a terrible wad of crap. <laughs> Attack. Look how calmly I take three damage. It is as if I do not have a care in the world. Ah, ha, 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 ha. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I don't care. Uh, say go. I'm trying to make. I'm trying to make miserably un uninteractive magic fun. Mm. <gasps> I'm so excited. It's a spell. Uh. Boopelgeist. Oh, Boopelgeist. When he enters the battlefield, tap target creature and opponent controls. Oh. Get tapped. If I have delirium. He taps a something every turn. I love that guy. Yeah, he's great. And I do actually do can can actually hit on the four cards type yeah, because well, I have like enough artifacts, artifacts and, stuff. and yeah, yeah. Boopelgeist is real. Boopelgeist is a good dude. He's a good little booper. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm just, he's not going to win me this game, but go ahead. Um, Look at that grip Cam has. Attack. And lo, I have entered a new phase of magic, which is where, oh, a lifelinker. Child of Night. Oh, good. I've got to block that. Uh, pass the turn. Without a care in the world, I have become a Zen creature, embracing all that is magic. Mm. The thread of fate connecting Cameron's deck to my stomping. Oh. I'm going to play a Rocks Pike Master. I'm going to concede the game. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm just kidding. Go ahead. Okay. Kill me properly. <laughs> I think it's kind of fitting that I didn't actually see any of the cards that Cam is playing come up at all in the Winston draft. Mm. A attack. All right. I gain two. Um... And I'll say go. Ha ha! What now, Angel's Feather? <laughs> Cast spells if you dare. <laughs> go ahead, Cameron. All right. I bet well, this will disincentivize him from playing his spells. Attack? Take three. Uh, say, say go. You didn't play any white spells. I don't really have any relevant ones. Forest. Naya Hushblade. As long as you control another multicolored permanent, Naya Hushblade gets plus one, plus one, and has Shroud. Okay. Well, uh, that's you a gain white one. spell. It is. Ha ha. And now I've decided, since you don't have any relevant white spells, one, two, three, four, five, I want your Ibex, but you can have my Angel's Feather. Boo. Does it lose the counter because it changes zones? Uh, no. Say go. Okay. Sequencing. Hmm. <laughs> All right, buckle up. Oh no, he's got spells, curses. My beautiful plans are put together. Restless dreams, discarding nagging thoughts, returning child of night. Okay. I pay the madness cost on nagging thoughts. Uh-huh. 
to look at the top two cards of my library, put one of them into my hand and the other into my graveyard. Child of Night returns to my hand. That isn't what I meant to do. That was very It was really feline. slick, though. Just yeah. like, don't need that card anymore. Yeah. I have paid its costs. Okay, look at the top two cards of my library, put one of them into my hand and the other in my graveyard. Glint Nest Crane into the graveyard, this into my hand. Cool. Then I will play... The dreaded Child of Night. Child of Night. And I'll say go. Nagging thoughts leading to restless dreams seems appropriate. Mm, mm -hmm. Which leads to madness. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Synergies. Do I attack with both? Do I get reckless? I'm at six. You're at 22. I'm going to attack you with this 3-5. Uh, I will get threed. Yeah, that's what I figured. Just walk in and get me. My turn? Go ahead. Consulate Skygate. Okay. Um, O4 Defender Reach. Okay. Um, subtle Strike. Mm -hmm. Target for minus one, minus one until end of turn is the Naya, Naya Hush Blade. And I'm going to put a plus one, plus one counter on my Child of Night. Oh, good. Declare attack. Go to three. And I gain three. Uh, pass the turn. Go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, it's very freeing, actually. It's quite relaxing. Mm. Say go. So much mana. Uh, crystallize this. Okay. Oh. Say go. <gasps> oh, curses, he's got to play. Meba. Sure is. Uh, say go. Press for answers on your Narcomoeba? Oh, it doesn't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> it certainly doesn't. But I get a clue token, and I get to... So that's kind of cool. And it doesn't untap during your next untap step. All right. So I bought myself some time. And what's in the bin? Sacrifice this clue to draw a card. All right. Voyaging Seder. All right. I still die to the Meba next turn? Or no, no, I have one turn. I have one turn to try mm -hmm. and draw some removal. So I, I mean, the, the Ibex just blocks it. It right? doesn't have reach. It doesn't fly. Oh, I thought it flew. No, no, no. It's a 1 3. It's oh. just a 1 3. Well, it looks like because it's got all those birds on it, it looks like it should fly. Mm -hmm. it's, got the, it's got those art cues. All right, uh, say go. You found. Found out that it didn't fly in your extensive interrogation of the amoeba. It's true, actually. I pressed it for answers and it's like, actually, I don't fly. I suck. <laughs> it's true. And I was like, oh, excellent. Uh, say go. I have 10 mana. This is very exciting. Hmm. Say go. Say go. At the end of your turn, I get a flash in a winged coaddle. Well, alrighty then. Attack you with my winged coaddle. 
I have been quaddled. Say go. This is a, this is... The oh, most no. sinister of concoctions. Mm. Lasai. Bonds of Quicksilver on the Winged Quaddle. Hmm. Oh wait, this is still tapped. It didn't untap. Not for this turn, but for yeah, next for turn. next turn. Uh, pass the turn. Well, I got one damage in with the Winged Quaddle. Hmm. Face the fury of what should have come a lot earlier in this game. The two drop. Go. Yep. I suppose I should untap all of these lands that I'm not using anyhow. Oh. Yeah, but it. It it doesn't bonds un- does not tap the creature, however it It was tapped. It was yeah. So it's yeah. now it's not untapping. Mm-hmm. Doom Traveler. Alright. Go. 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 I get to play a thing. I'm very excited. Seeker Serpent. Oh, interesting. And for six, a mere six, I can make it not be blocked, and then you can blow, you can blow it up with Sinister Concoction. So go ahead. All right. I do have a lot of artifacts in this deck. Slave of Bolas, the Gear Seeker Serpent. Mm-hmm. Make Gear Seeker Serpent unblockable. Finally, end this wretched, <laughs> wretched game. Alrighty. Oh. Sigh. I think it's very interesting that all of the cards that I saw you play in your deck are not cards that I saw in this draft at all. Yeah, I. Uh, I was like, whoa! Oh, when did that happen? When did that happen? When did that happen? And I suppose you probably have a similar experience with some of my cards. Absolutely. So that's interesting. What one takes. So there we are. All right. That was Winston Draft. I'd be interested to see the size of your pools relative to each other. Yeah. Well, let me take the land out of my pool and I'll I'll tell you. Also, I like that the first time uh, Bolas took a slave, it was a... It was a chroma. Run, it was a runaway carriage. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, it's a chroma like, on the art. Yeah. Like, or is you're it, mine, runaway it? carriage. Uh, and then, but but he figured it out by that last time. He's like, okay, let's get a okay. big serpent this time. Yeah. <sighs> so there were 22 cards. I had a conspiracy that never came up. Oh. Eh, whatever. Uh, and then how many cards are actually in my pool? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three. That's actually pretty close to half the yeah. the half the pool. Do they somehow manage to avoid all of the good
Yeah, I have 40, 43? No, wait. If I had, if, if we should have approximately 45 yeah, cards we, each. Yeah, so we I mean, should you have might 90. have like 47 or yeah, something like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. I was counting while you were counting. Well, because so you're, you you're taking out the lands. How many so. lands was I running? 17, which is a bit greedy uh, on... Uh, for like split, but I didn't have, I only had four planes and like three swamps. Mm. That was fine because I had fixing and I was more blue green. How many lands were you running? <laughs> it's like, yeah, you got to that a lot. Yeah, it was 17 lands. Yeah, there's variance. Not a lot you can do about it. Mm -hmm. I wanted to be able to cast my like five and six drops though, so I didn't dare go down to 16 even though my curve was pretty low aside from the seven drop. Yeah. And the and a really cool uh really cool six eight that never once showed up. Oh. I mean you would have healed me with it anyhow because you had that thing. Right. But that's um, fine. Okay. So I guess we should thank subs. Yeah. And thus ends Kathleen's adventures in Winston Draft. But I do say the Winston Draft, while being a fun way to pass the evening, perhaps not with these particular cards. I'd love to do an all Dominaria. Oh, yeah, that would Dominaria, be rad. Winston Dominaria, Draft. yes. Because I found there are some non bows in here. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. Kaladesh surprisingly powerful, though. Very. Uh, Jeej, I was talking to him on Messenger. I was like, oh, what do I cut from this hot mess I drafted? He's like, I don't know about. I don't know about true negotiations. I was like, that is my win con. <laughs> yeah. Cam's cards are better than mine. <laughs> I have crummy artifacts. And I think it was great. Yeah, no, it definitely, like, it was it was definitely a concern. Border posts take a land slot. You were effectively running 19 lands. But the artifacts did things because they made my Gear Seeker Serpents cheaper. Mm -hmm. And what if I'm splashing four colors, going down to, like, 16 is, like, not a good idea. Yeah. I don't think that's a good idea. Yeah, agreed. Um, but, I mean, please tell me how to play Magic some more. <laughs> Uh, it's been a long day here, loading Ready Run HQ, folks. Apparently, you had a Wombo combo. Yeah, I had Indestructibility and Palace Guards. It's a 1 4 that can block any number of creatures. Wow. That's cool. Yeah. Same draft environment. N mm. Neither of those ever came out. Well, yeah. You can't well, pitch the Indestructibility. Yeah, yeah, because I wanted to regrow my Peacock. It's, with all the actual stealing effects that were going on in that game, yeah. mm -hmm. indestructibility might have actually been very bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would have been terrifying. Mm -hmm. I was concerned about it. Okay. All right, let's thank some subs. All right. All right. Thank you, all you amazing people, for watching and supporting us. And... Uh, subscribing to the Twitch channel and the Patreon and all that great stuff and following the channel too. But in particular, thank you to these people. Starting with... Harold BFC who has reset for six months. Ooh, which skins are you choosing from? I think Corn has a rustic charm to it. I do not get that reference. <laughs> Rusia for 20 months! Hasio Sora has reset for the fifth month, and now a moment of silence for my wallet as I have deci decided to buy a case of Battle Bond. Ooh. Oh, Battle Bond actually looks very fun. It does. Hawthorne! Hawthorne, Hawthorne is a new subscriber! <laughs> Urban Samurai 22 is, has reset for three months. Commander Crossing for 46 months. Verifage has reset for the 38th month, another one of the electric rebuild. And RDW130 for 11 months says, my sub baby is two months old. Congratulations, oh. you are entering the hellish time of babies. <laughs> Dr. Hugh 7 is a brand new subscriber. Thank you, welcome. Pazzer99 for three months. Backwood Shunterg, Shunterg GX is reset for the 27th month. Merch fan, 11 months. They just love that merch. Chris Von Klaus has reset for the sixth month. Thank you so much. <gasps> it's your friend and mine, Thief of Punk, who's been here for 24 months, which is like two years. Martin Kaka has reset for the sixth month, saying upcoming pre-release hype. Yeah, we got to talk about that. Mm. Uh, Zeskar. Zeskar, it's an amount, an amount of months. Omnomb has reset for the third month. Thank you. The Immortal Squee for five months says, I love the straw poll idea to see who builds on stream. Thank you for the wonderful five months of amazing streams. And thank you for being here for five months. Mm. 
one of the voice has resub or is a brand new subscriber. Welcome to the channel and thank you for deciding to support us. Erickson for three months says Winston draft is super awesome, though my favorite style is Winchester. I've never Winchester drafted. Expando is resub for the 57th month. That's thank you very much. That's a lot of yeah. months. Uh, Olis, Olis Oil sick for an X month. P. Johnston is resub for the ninth month. Thank you. Cardboard Horde for three months. And not gruel, but why has reset for six months? Obligatory. That's almost half a year joke. It's your friend and mine, Mick Spikes. Love them spikes. Five months. Ash Burnham is reset for the twentieth month. Thank you. It's Jer it's Junior Burger for one year. Crazy Sheriff is is a brand new subscriber. Welcome to the channel. Thank you. Rio Pizio for six months says, "Go Team Goth." Oh yeah. Another two-player format to maybe try. Factor Fiction Draft? Unfamiliar. It's Riley PM has resub for the 13th month. No, lucky number 13. I showed up late and found a peacock with goad. This looks awesome. I mean, Conspiracy was a very awesome set. Mm -hmm. uh, Milk Toast 86 for 20, for 20 months says, Goats will eat your hair regardless of color. They will nibble on your clothes too. It's very true. Mm. Ziff has resub for the 27th month. Post Thursday evening cardstock scuffle. <laughs> Diabore for 20 months. Forced Reject has reset for the 22nd month. hi -o. Cameron, on the off chance that certain someone gets to GP Vegas, would you be interested in some cultural philosophy literature written from the perspective of quantum physics? Sure. I feel like if that's, that's got to be your jam if nobody else's. Mm. Dakin 1993 for five months says, yay, five months. Lurk content has been so helpful in getting me through a trying time in my life. So thank you for all you do. Uh, and thinks it's always read wrong. My name, my name rhymes with bacon. That's what I Ooh. said. Did I get it right? Mr. The Walrus is reset for the 11th month saying chaos. Chaos. Uh, <laughs> is a brand new subscriber. Res the Future is reset for the third month saying highly desirable parrots. And thank you for 1,303 bits from Earthen One E Block, Rock Pusher, The Immortal Squee, and Nefarious Net. And I know a thousand of those came from The Immortal Squee because I saw oh. it come up in chat. So thank you thank very you. much. Thank you. So, hey, Cameron, mm -hmm. let's wrap for a moment. Boy, we are both really sleep deprived, aren't we? I thought you were going to Riker it for a second. And I was like, I, if I tried to Riker die. this, you would want, like, <laughs> I would I'd, just tear in half. I'd be watching you put your teeth into the table. <laughs> yeah, there would just be like a terrible tearing noise and then a splat. <laughs> and I'd be like, who wants some teeth? Give new giveaway here on our channel. <laughs> Have these molars. So... Hey, Cameron, mm -hmm. I hear you like playing magic, but sometimes doing it with a friend. I frequently enjoy playing magic cards with friends. Oh, my goodness. Well, then you're going to love the new set that's coming up, Battle Bond. Hey, and we're doing a Battle Bond free pre-release. It's starting on Friday, June 8th. I promise Cam and I will have had more sleep before we do that. <laughs> you can't do that. <laughs> and... We've got from Watsi R and D Jules Robbins and our very special guest this time. We have Rhino, aka Young Mage, who's a magic YouTuber, and we have Dana Fisher, who is the youngest MTG tournament competitor. And I will be personally witnessing plow me into the ground. Yeah, I'm. I'm excited to lose to a seven-year-old. <laughs> is she eight now? Well, she might be eight now. Yeah, she day two's tourneys, so. I've never day two'd a tourney. Yeah, I mean, when I when I was seven slash eight, I was struggling to read let alone magic cards. Yeah, let alone making plot. So, when I yeah, was, when this I is going to be an awesome event. Yeah, it's really cool. And because we have uh, we, we have uh, three guests this time, we have five Loading Ready Run people. So we're adding Ben to our lineup, and it's mm. going to be teams of people. So so who will be on a team? Uh, mm. Well, uh, uh, Dana and Young Mage are going to be on a team. Yeah, probably. So, like, yeah, I assume, yeah, I assume so. Yeah, so we can, so we can experience the full... The full uh, force, I would say, of, of the upcoming generation of Magic players who are much better than us. Yep. It's because there's so many generations past leaded gasoline, right? Every yeah, generation yeah, yeah, is absolutely. getting smarter. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 for one, am very excited to see what this generation does that has not been marinating in leaded gasoline since, uh, since conception. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Mm. So... Uh, and I think that's about it. Paul, do we have anything else to talk about? Should we go about the, should we go through the next week's streams? Uh, why don't we do that? Sure. Oh, hey, did you like Kathleen and Cameron? Well, buckle up, folks. You're in for a big sporty ride. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm so tired. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> we got all sorts of fun uh, streams coming up over the next little while. Hmm. Uh, starting with tomorrow, uh, we're going to be doing some Askler. All right, yeah. Yeah, so we're not doing Loading Ready Live, but we are doing, uh, we did a proto live Askler. Uh, and uh, so we've got all of us back, and we're gonna and we're gonna show highlights, and we're gonna show a bunch of cool stuff, mm. and then we're gonna take your questions. We're gonna a your cues, and it's gonna be great. Mm -hmm. uh, so that'll be super fun. And then on uh, Sunday, um, Heather and Corey are gonna be doing Rhythm Cafe with uh, Bit Dot Trip or mm. Bit Trip. I don't know how you pronounce that or say it. Uh, and then on Monday we got Checkpoint. Checkpoint but a plus. full checkpoint, not a chill point. Can't, oh, Paul really? and I have worked out a plan, and it oh. involves getting Heather to help us. Oh, exciting. So, yes, I'm excited. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do a checkpoint, and then what's uh, going up on New Day Tuesday? And then New Day Tuesday, <gasps> it's Dark Souls. Yay! Cam, but it's you even excite? better Dark Souls. Dark Souls are in that third. Yeah. Oh, my God, it's Dark Souls. Only it's in 60 frames per second. That's all I wanted. <laughs> That's all they had to do. Oh, I'm so right? happy it's, for you. Uh, uh, from all appearances, it's a remaster done right. Like, what if you could buy Star Wars on Blu-ray? The original theatrical cut? Yes. That's all I want from life. Mm -hmm. Exactly. This is apparently just yeah. like that. It's Dark Souls only properly ported, so it runs in 60 FPS, and the text is in HD. Ooh. So... I like, yeah. I like the idea that they're like, okay, uh, turns out we made a mistake and on the original Dark Souls uh, mm -hmm. through through uh, a miscalculation on our part. Uh, it was possible to uh, advance in the plot. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, but we're fixing that in the re-release. No yeah, worry. Don't yeah, worry. Don't, yeah. It's like those WoW patch notes, like that one Penny Arcade where the, the latest World of Warcraft had patch notes that were like, fixed a bug where shamans could occasionally die. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Uh, all right, and then uh, on third on Tuesday night we got uh, Talking Simulator with more Stardew Valley. Yeah, more Stardew. So we're uh, Corey and I are going to continue to play Stardew because it's it's a really cool game and there's a lot going on in it. Whether or not you like nostalgia is a hell of a thing, mm. really. I mean, even though you're not necessarily personally nostalgic for Stardew Valley. Yeah, like because Stardew is a game that is basically like um, all, all the, the good parts you... about like. Uh, Harvest Moon right. and a couple of other games kind of mashed together. So, yeah, uh, tune in for that. Uh, and then on uh, on Wednesday, we'll sit. There's uh, Let's Nope with Corey and Heather looking at Little Nightmares. Ooh, cool. So getting there, getting all spooked up. And then uh, we have Crossing the Streams. Uh, where we are going to be looking at some, uh, we're going to be doing some Jackbox games. Oh, oh I'm right, so yeah. jealous. I can't participate in uh, this one. So uh, Cam and really Corey fun. and myself and Heather are uh, going to be running back that uh, the Jackbox, whatever party box or whatever. I, okay. I, yeah, 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 there's yeah. all sorts of silly Jackbox games. So yeah, we'll, we'll probably we'll... switch around a little bit. Hmm. So anyway, uh, all that great stuff is coming up this week. Um, Make mm -hmm. sure you check out the loadingrayrun.com slash live to find out all this stuff, or you can see the events page, which is uh, just above this video. Yes, probably. also, and I've been I've been plugging this at the end of streams, if you, as you, as you might have noticed, some of us aren't here, because a bunch of us are off filming Road Quest, and if you contributed a few bucks to help us make Road Quest, thank you very much, first of all, mm -hmm. but if you didn't get the email, which gives you access to the behind the scenes stuff that they've been recording and posting every day, so far, because they've had access to reliable internet, mm -hmm. uh, then you can email info plus roadquest at loadingreadyrun.com to make sure that you get all of the information and stuff that you are supposed to be getting. Mm -hmm. So uh, that is just my PSA that I've been sending out. I think we've gotten everybody now, but you Hopefully, never know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, people we'll, might we'll, not we'll continue to in. mention it as, yeah. as filming goes on to make sure that people are getting what they have paid for. Yeah, exactly. And like, if you missed the first couple of days due to clerical errors or Mm -hmm. Apparently, just the Mailchimp. Yeah. To was just like yeah, rejected mail, some some yeah, email mail addresses. Chimp, like even if it has like a one percent failure rate. That still right? could be yeah. you. You know. Um, so yeah, we'll uh, we'll we'll make sure that you get those videos that yeah. you're entitled to. Yeah. What's next week's Friday night paper fight? I forget what's on the schedule right now. I don't know. I think maybe we were just going to play 
just regular mag like streaming magic. Yeah, yeah, I, I think, think yeah, I think well, it's it's because uh, next week it's the um, uh, uh, brawl thing for the LRMTG, right? Yeah, that's yeah. that's on LRMTG. That's on Thursday. And so I think that mm -hmm. yeah, I think the plan was to do more uh, to do more digital type magic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, but I'll probably, it'll be we'll me be, and Cameron again. Yeah, we'll we'll run out some arena or some Mitko and yeah. yeah, we'll have a good grand old time. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, by the way, and if you're thinking, oh, I do want to throw you some money for a road quest, I'm sorry, it's too late. But mm -hmm. if you did, and you haven't been getting what you paid for, let us know so we can fix that for you. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yes. Oh, yeah, Rock Pushers got it. All right. So, I think that's it. I, I think, think that's everything, yeah. We have covered all of the business. All right. Well, thank you very uh, much. Yeah, thank you for tuning in, and we will catch you tomorrow starting at 3, right? Mm -hmm. For the yep. Q&A? Yes. 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 Yes, 3 o'clock. We'll be here earlier doing work. Mm -hmm. And if you're wondering where the heck the panelist is, it'll be up tomorrow. I'll be editing that during the day. All right. All right. All right. Bye, everybody. Catch you on the flip side. Bye. Bye.